Hello, welcome to this week's Toddler Time. In a minute, I'm going to tell you a story called The Christmas Donkey. But first, we'll have a go at singing the song Little Donkey. You might want to try and join in with me. <clears throat> little donkey, little donkey, on the dusty road. Got to keep on plodding onwards with your precious load. Been a long time, little donkey, through the winter's night. Don't give up now, little donkey, Bethlehem's in sight. Ring out those bells tonight, Bethlehem, Bethlehem. Follow that star tonight, Bethlehem, Bethlehem. Little donkey, little donkey, had a heavy day. Little donkey, carry Mary safely on her way. Now what about the first verse of Away in a Manger? One, two, three. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky look down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. Well, our story is the Christmas donkey. Have you ever been sad, worried, afraid or lonely? This is a story about a very sad donkey. He was the saddest animal in Capernaum, the town where he lived. He didn't used to be sad. In fact, he used to be happy. He was born and brought up in Jerusalem and lived with his mum and his friends. And as he grew up, he learned to carry heavy loads of goods and people. And he was very strong. He was good at it. His mum said to him, you're very lucky because you're so strong, you can carry lots of things. And do you know what? That's a donkey's job. That is what make donkeys happy. And he was happy there with his mum and his, dad, his, his, his friends and his work. Things started to go wrong when one day he was taken to a market and sold. He was sold to a man with black hair and a big bushy black beard. And the man took him three days walk away to live in Capernaum. Now this man with a big black beard was quite nasty and was unkind to our donkey. He called him names and even hit him with a stick. This made our donkey really, really sad. He was also homesick and missed his mum and he wished he could go back there. And so the donkey's days were very sad in Capernaum. One day, the man with a big bushy beard loaded the donkey up and took him to a market to sell some goods in a nearby village of Nazareth. Now, the man hadn't tied the goods on properly to our donkey's back and they fell off in the middle of the market. The man with a big bushy beard went mad. He started shouting and yelling at our donkey and hitting our donkey. And the donkey bucked his legs and brayed. There was a really big noise. And loads of people gathered round and made a, a crowd all around them in a big circle. The man went as red as a tomato as he was shouting. 
Suddenly, another man stepped out from the crowd. He was a slimmer man, also with a beard, and he carried a hammer in his hand. He was a village carpenter called Joseph. He said, hey, there's no need to do that. Stop treating that animal like that. The man with the big bushy beard stopped and stood still and looked at Joseph. Joseph said, I need a donkey. Is that one for sale? The bad man said, you can buy him for what I paid for him. I'm fed up with him. And so Joseph paid for the donkey and took the donkey back home. On the way home, the donkey felt happy for the first time for months and months and months since he'd left his mum. He felt safe with Joseph. They soon got home and there was a lady waiting for them. Her name was Mary. She stroked the donkey and Joseph said to the donkey, we have a very important journey to make tomorrow and you are going to carry a very important passenger. And he could see that Mary was pregnant. That night, Air Donkey was so excited he could hardly sleep. He was like you might be on Christmas Eve, not being able to wait for the next day. But the next day came, and in the morning, Joseph, Mary and the donkey set off for Bethlehem. It was 70 miles walk, and it was a three-day journey. The roads are very dusty, and it was very busy. Our donkey was careful as he walked with Mary on his back, because he didn't want to slip, he didn't want to drop her. He was frightened that she might have the baby on the way. But he wanted to get them safely to Bethlehem. He needn't have worried because they did arrive safely. It was very busy in Bethlehem with lots of travellers. Joseph kept trying to find a place for them to stay, but he couldn't find anywhere. On the last inn going out in the village, Joseph stopped. It was getting dark now. He knocked at the door. There was no answer. He knocked again. Still no answer, and Air Donkey started to bray as loud as he could. After a minute, the window opened, and the man said, f f poked his head through the window and said, Go away, there's no room here, and shut the window and went back inside. Joseph started to pull the rope on the donkey, but Air Donkey stopped still and brayed as loud as he could at the top of his voice he brayed and brayed again the man opened the window and shouted said be quiet keep that animal quiet can't you can't you see you'll wake up and then he looked at mary oh you're expecting a baby is it due soon joseph told him that the baby was due soon and he told them that they'd come all the way from nazareth to bethlehem well, the man said, there's no room here, but I've got a stable behind that you're welcome to stay in. At least you'll be dry. Joseph said, yes, thank you. That's great. And he sh the man showed them where the stable was. Once inside, they realised how tired they were. Joseph helped Mary off the donkey's back. Mary said to her donkey, I think it's time. And thank you. Without your help, we would not have a safe place for the baby to be born. The donkey felt so happy, Joseph laid some blankets on the straw and helped Mary to lie down. The donkey noticed other animals were in the stable and at the back there were two more donkeys. He walked over to them and can you guess who one of them was? What a surprise. Yeah, it was his mum. They rubbed heads in greeting. How did you get here, his mum asked. And her donkey said, it's a really long story, mum. Mum said, tell me later, look. Together, the donkey and his mum watch Mary give birth to a tiny baby boy. Together, they laid down and watched this wonderful sight. The donkey knew that he had helped this very special family. They named the baby Jesus 
And later that night, some shepherds arrived, saying that they'd been in their fields with the sheep and loads of angels had appeared in the sky, singing and praising God. And one angel said, The Saviour of the world has been born in Bethlehem. Go and see him. You'll find him in a manger. The donkey didn't understand all this, but he was really glad he was there to share with his mum. He was glad that he was part of all that was happening. Sometimes we have hard times in our lives, but things get better often. And the donkey's life got better. He had a happy life after going through all the things he was sad about and all his fears and worries. I've got three questions that you might like to try and answer. How did the donkey feel when he was sold at the market to the man with a big bushy beard? He was sad, wasn't he? Very sad and lonely too. He missed his mum. What did our donkey do at the last inn to wake the people up? He brayed and he brayed and he made a noise and they opened up. Once Jesus was born, who were the first visitors to see him? They were shepherds, weren't they? I hope you've liked our story for this week. I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.